Good evening and welcome back to Be Rich. Today I wanted to talk about why it is important to invest in US. I've been talking about the case of India and US, India and UK and why it would make great sense to invest in US. I also pointed out to you that the depreciation of the rupee will make a big impact and will give us additional gains. There are two routes to wave by which we can invest in US. One, there are some US brokers who offer Indian investors a direct route through India and some Indian brokers have tied up with foreign investor brokers. But I do not prefer that route, I prefer the route of moving money out of India using the liberalized remittance regime, LRS, where an Indian is allowed to take $250,000 out of India and then move it into a broking account and invest directly from there. That is a clean break. You may choose whatever broker you want, but it's better to move funds out of India and keep it abroad as long as the government allows it. In case of the other route, the India route, the problem is the Ministry of Finance may change its mood any time and say the ceiling is limited. If you remember, Motila Laswal ran a very popular S&P 500 fund and overnight it stopped mutual funds from investing abroad, saying that they have reached their limits. In fact, the Parag Parekh fund could not invest abroad because of this problem. Parag Parekh fund had an exposure to US stocks and when it started to fall, could not accumulate more because of this restriction. Due to this whimsical attitude of the finance ministry, it is better to take the LRS route. Why are in American investments more attractive? I wanted to give you another reason. If you are looking at an American investment today, let's take the bond market. The A good quality bond market for bond market investment, which is a high grade corporate investment, will get you between 5.5 to 6%. In fact, high quality residential mortgages get you 6.5%. These tenure is between 1 and 3 to 4 years, you will get 6.5%. About one year back, you are getting 1% for this. So if I am going to get a 6.5% yield up to 3 years and get a lower return as the years go by, it makes a great sense for me to lock my yield at this time. The Indian Reserve Bank government yield, it gives you only 7 to 7.5% today. So, if I am getting a good American corporate, A-grade corporate or a AAA corporate at 6 to 7 percent, it makes a great sense to buy that stock. Also, what happens in America is credit card debt and how high quality housing debt is securitized and parceled and sold. The asset does not remain with the bank. The bank secure, puts it all together, securitizes it parcels it into smaller pieces and it's available in the market. This is what caused the crisis of 2008. But we are not talking of very subprime loans. We are talking of the prime variety. Prime variety is available at 7%. In fact, prime credit card is available at 75 to 8%. So if you are willing to buy only treasury, it's available at 3.5, a three-year treasury is available at nearly 4%. So if the rupee is going to depreciate between 3 and 3.5% three and every year on an average, as it has happened, it is clear in the next three years, the rupee is going to depreciate by 10%. So if I am going to buy a good quality American bond at 7, 6 and a half to 7, then I add another 3%, I am going to make 10%. This is for a short term investment which is between 0 to 3 years. But if you are looking at a long-term investment, you need to have a great portfolio of stocks. And so last year, when I've been talking about investing in US, I put out two reasons. One is that it is cheaper to own Unilever abroad than Hindustan Unilever in India. If I own Unilever abroad, I own 75% of India anyway, plus I get the entire Unilever business outside India. This gives me a better quality stock at a price far cheaper than India. We did, I did recommend that strategy. The price went up by 15% since it has corrected, but it's still higher than the price 
at which I talked about. In the long term, Unilever abroad is definitely better sense than Hindustan Unilever here because the dividends and royalty that is paid by Hindustan Unilever also accrues to the parent. Thus, for all people who want to own Hindustan Unilever here, it is better to own Unilever abroad. Same is the great case with Procter & Gamble. Here, people buy stocks of beverages, stocks of beverage companies, which are bottlers of Coke and Pepsi. Rather, you can buy Coke and Pepsi at a very low price abroad. So it makes you great sense for you to buy a short-ended bond with high quality yields, giving you between 6.5 to 7% return. At the same time, build up choice company portfolios for the long term with when valuations are low. The American stock markets in dollar terms has already reached bear market territory and is continuing to fall. It is expected to fall throughout next year because many experts expect the American market to contract and a big recession is, will, is expected. This recession is undoubtedly great for the bond market because when the recession sets in and people get fired and economic activity begins to contract, the Fed will pause, give a long pause to bring inflation under control and then start to cut rates. So suppose I lock in a 6.5% bond and I wait for 18 months, the Fed will attract aggressively cut rates about between 18 to 24 months from now. And that is the time to get rid of the bond. I would have already made a huge, in 18 months, I would have received 6% on my coupon. And as the bond market rate, as interest rates cut, then the value of my bond will also increase. So I get to get the cake and eat it too. And if we construct a portfolio of high quality American stocks with an American broker throughout ne next 24 months, you can be rest assured you would buy an America, a basket of American and world consumption at a very cheap price, which you can keep for a lifetime and can support your children's education abroad if and when required. Thank you for watching Be Rich. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button of my channel, like this video and turn on the bell notification. If you do not turn on the bell notification, you will not be notified every time we put out a video. Once again, I thank you, thank you for your support for b -Ditch. We do have a request. I ask you to forward this video to your friends and relatives and persuade them to watch it. Thank you once again for your support. I want to thank all of you for supporting our event in Oman with great enthusiasm. A lot of people turned up in Oman and a place where I, am, I don't have much influence. I wish to thank all of you for your support. The next event is going to be in Qatar, Doha. The event is scheduled for the last week of January. Those who would like to meet me in person in Qatar, Doha or come to our event in Doha can send their request to the mail ID given below or contact the WhatsApp number flashing on the screen. My team will respond to you. See you in Qatar in the last week of Jan. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.